who's the nine dollar bill friend that you've had and when did you peep that their ass was fake i'll go first so now the year is ending and her money is dwindling and so is the guy keep in mind she took this guy to disney world she's buying him dinners she's buying him name brand clothing throughout the whole year she's spending her inheritance on him and now her money is drying up and now he is fading away so one day i get a phone call from this crazy ass chick and she's like hey girl i'm like what's up it's late at night and she's like um, I just took a bunch of pills and I drank a bottle of Belvedere and that's it. I'm taking myself out. This guy doesn't want to be with me. My money is running out now. He doesn't love me. He's been using me this entire time. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So thank God I happened to be at a friend's house. So I had her hold the phone while I call 911. I called 911 because I got her to convince me to tell me what hotel she was at. She was at a hotel. And um, she tells me the name of the hotel and I put one and two together because she usually would be in Brooklyn because that's where the guy lived. So I got the cops to go to the hotel. So when the cops get to the hotel, they say, listen, I'm only going to knock on about a couple of doors because it's late at night. People are sleeping. We don't want to disturb everybody in this hotel. Why the third door that they knock on, it happens to be her hotel room. So they're able to get her to the hospital. They had to pump her stomach and she stayed in the psych ward because of this for three weeks. So her car was parked in the hotel parking lot. So the, it got towed. So when she gets out of the hospital, I call her, I'm checking on her and she's just like, all of this is your fault. I'm like, what is my fault? No, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. None of that. She's like, oh, yeah, my car got towed because of you. You called the cops on me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. All is your fault. I had to spend over a thousand dollars to get my car out. And now knows that I try to take myself out over him. And keep in mind, I also found the guy's number and called the guy and like I threatened him. I'm not going to lie. I threatened him. She's like, yeah, now he's asking me like, who do you know? He's scared of you. What did you say to him? Like you ruined my whole life. I was in total shock. I literally say this girl's blaming all of her problems on me like a narcissist does, right? But after that, we did not talk for months because I was just like, how is she blaming for her troubles? Part three coming up.